Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Trans Open the Shipping Com uh, Company, not country. Um, if you guys are new to the channel at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and also, if you want to watch the whole series, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description. So guys, I've done a little bit of, uh, kind of, yeah, getting money and stuff off camera. Um, and yeah, we're nearly there in terms of our reputation, so we're now unknown. Uh, so I've had a couple knocks on my reputation. Uh, turns out if you if you can't get out of a port and you have to pay for a um, uh, pay for what they call the tugboat type things, that knocks down your reputation. Also, there's shady goods, especially in Port Said, which I didn't realise, and that knocks down your uh, your whole reputation as well. Um, so at the minute, I'm doing a kind of double trip. I'm going to uh, Rotterdam and then I'm going off to Stockholm. So that was all the way from Lisbon. So trying to pick up stuff that's kind of related and doesn't really have any, um, you know, time sensitive kind of stuff. Hamburger, but it was going to be a pain as well, as well to get into that port. We'll find out. Right. So let's dock at Rotterdam again. So although Rotterdam looked kind of a bit dodgy at first, I actually think it's one of the easier ones because uh, once you line up straight, you, you're absolutely fine. And also getting out of it isn't a pain. Um, Port Said is the one that I actually failed at, so um, I couldn't get out of it. It was turning around the ship, so I don't know if you're just supposed to reverse or, or what. I don't know, um, but I expect it's going to be a pain. Also, because of course, it is the Suez Canal, or uh, on on the Suez Canal, in front of the Suez Canal, I don't know, something like that. Um, part, on one of the sides of the Suez Canal, should we say, one of the openings to it. Uh, because of that, it's quite busy and has got some of the like Panamax, Super Panamax, Ultra Heavy, Super Duper... Uh, ships that we want to actually buy um, So it's a bit crazy. There we go. So that one's done. We can now head off to uh, Wherever we need to go to. Do we need any fuel? Um, yeah, why not? Let's keep up on our fuel. See we've not got like 9.6 million now, which is fantastic uh, We're gonna continue our trek to Stockholm. Let's quickly though see if there's any contracts for Stockholm Which there is. Look at that. So some for Stockholm there. Well, we'll pick that one up as we go as well uh, on the way I don't know if this is like the best way of doing it, and you just end up just going around and stuff. But that, that is what we're going to be doing, so we'll get onto that. So let's uh, go over to get out of Rotterdam, and then we'll end up docking in uh, in Stockholm. Okay, so I think I might have spoke too soon with uh, <laughs> with Rotterdam because I'm now facing this crazy system over here. Uh, look, oh my god, they've got a ship that's about to be launched as well. That is so cool. So this is my problem, getting off of the sides of these. So I don't know if you're supposed to just do like a really small turn. Because uh, I ended up like usually doing like a big turn like that and then end up having to dial it back like this. See, so you don't get too close to it. I'm actually going to try. Ooh, oh, I'm going to hit. Oh my god, that was close. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn as much as I can here and I'm going to reverse in here and then go out from that. I think it's going to be the only way to do it. Um, but I like this. I really like this. I love how that ship is actually being launched. So, how cool is that? It's good. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens when we get to the next level. Um, my plan is to get another ship. Um, get two on the fleet. I don't know how that's going to be, like, whether it just ends up being a bit of a bit of a nightmare or, or what. But we'll, we'll kind of see. That's my, that's my main plan, is just to see. You know, what happens, how good it is. Uh, I don't want to go too fast, actually, because I'm um, pretty quick there. Um, there we go. If we start turning from here, good, good. But yeah, trying to get a fleet. My kind of end goal is to get whatever the ultra heavy thing is, but really a Panamax. If I'm done by, by the time I, you know, if I'm playing to win the game by then, and I'm just like, nah, I'm done, then I'm still happy with that if we can get to Panamax level. I mean, that's the, that's the main thing. Just get a big ship, get one bigger than this, uh, what's it called, a feeder, isn't it, this one? So we'll go with that. Right, there we go. So that wasn't too bad getting out of there. There we go. Cool. Full speed ahead. Whack on the gas. And we'll kind of fly out of this port. Right, so we're now at Stockholm at least. So got out. It did take me a lot longer though, so the timings of the, you know, how long things are taking, I'm not too sure about. Because <laughs> it does depend. I don't know if that's because, you know, when you get loaded up with more stuff, um, you end up having to come out of a more difficult place, but I don't know. Can just be a guess. So Stockholm as well, they've made icy, just like just like Iceland. Uh, they've made the whole thing icy. Ah, okay, so around this bend here, that's where I've got to go, is it? Oh, right down the edge there. I mean, at least this one you can just reverse out of. So we'll see how it kind of goes with that. 
I might as well go in pretty fast, because, uh, why not? I love how it kind of, like, wants you to go fast, you know, for the time. I don't know what that does, if that just gives you a... I guess it will give you a good reputation, wouldn't it, if you're, like, you know, don't mess around at different, um, places. Oh, look, nice big ship there. It's a nice amount of variation on ships here. I know it is a, it's a shipping game, so you kind of expect that, or you'd really want that, but, uh, you know, still, it's... That's interesting. I think we're going to have to reverse here. Uh, I do not think we're going to be able to do it that quickly. Right. Now we can go in full speed-ish, right? No, no we can't. No, we really can't. We're way off at the minute. Right. Let's try and... Oh, no. It's all gone wrong. Could have lined it up perfectly, but instead... Press the horn there. One that guy. That looks really sleek and cool, doesn't it? I don't know what that kind of thing is, but yeah, I'll peep at you as well. Cool, right. So we, we messed up the turn a little bit there. <laughs> but yeah, that's fine. Um, I wonder if you can like train up captains. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how in depth this game actually is, uh, or, or whether this is pretty much it, just with bigger and bigger ships. But we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Um, I expect it'll get harder and harder as you go along if you're trying to manage, like, a big fleet of ships, but we'll see. Ooh. Jeez. Okay. Ah, oh, Scraped in at the end. Wow. Okay. Well, we did it. 1% damage. That'll do. Right, cool. So there we go. We've got more money. Uh, wear and tear to damage the ships. Yeah. Yeah, great. 60. 60 excellent. Uh, that was a lucrative journey. Yes, it was indeed. We did good. Right. So we're now known, still. Um, oh, do I have to unlock the whole thing? So I'm just a sole ship owner at the minute. God, I don't know. Well, we've got 11 million. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to buy a ship. I guess. What we'll do. Now, wait a minute. How, what's our current ship? Do you get to like see the... 180, okay, well we could actually upgrade then, pretty much, and get this like, massive I know this is it's a gas guzzler, but um that's we can get loads of stuff I don't, I don't know at the minute because they're not really that full alright, we'll go with the MS Light S, MS Light, oh we need it's quite a lot of money, yeah we're gonna we're gonna do it, we're gonna, we're gonna spend the money alright, the name of the ship, again going with the theme of naming Our ships after our nice patrons, or my nice patrons, shall I say? We're gonna go with the bird Lunkett. There we go. Christen the ship. Fantastic. There we go. This isn't Felix Stahl. So, what can we actually do here? If we do, we have to go to the world map or anything. Contracts. Oh, we now get to select the ship. Okay. So, from here, where do we want to go? Lisbon's got. Oh, that's 22 days. So we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to gun it to get there. Um, I think what we'll do is go with. We go to Dublin on the way, can't we? So that's quite a lot. That's a million there. Um, yeah, right. So we'll go to Dublin. Yeah, we'll go to Dublin. And then with these ones, let's go with... So that is a million, but in terms of the amount per tonnage or whatever, it's not great. But that is more money, and that fills us up rather than that one, which doesn't fill us up. So, yeah, to me, that makes more sense. So what we'll do, because they haven't got dates on them, we'll go to, go to Dublin, and then we'll go to... Uh, Reykjavik, and hopefully there'll be more stuff to pick up on the way. Um, so what we'll do, yeah, first with this one, John T, he will go to Dublin. So send you off there. We'll do a, do a manual coming out of it. I guess at some point it becomes cost effective just to pay the uh, tugboats. But we'll see. Right, so uh, we are unfortunately in the wrong place. Now hopefully we're not going to hit into the ship that's coming over here. It's the same one I do get the feeling that these are going to repeat quite a lot, the, uh, these dudes. Right, turn, 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 turn. I'm hoping I'm going to hit into that thing. Yeah, turn around. Switch it the other way, full. Whack. Uh, slow down. <laughs> slow right down, slow right down. Turn, 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 turn. I think I should have gone back more. Um definitely should have gone back more. Uh, 
I think this is how you get stuck. <laughs> this is similar to what I ended up doing with Port Said. I say similar because it wasn't quite... Oh, Jesus Christ. No! Okay. Okay. Yeah, I should... I so should have just gone back straight. Okay, right. So I'm going to try and... Just, I'm going to have to just nudge this out here. <laughs> we're, we're so screwed. <laughs> Right, there we go. Stop the ship there. Turn, turn, turn. Full power now. Well, not full power, really, but... Oh, God. It, this is just not... This is not good. I think if we turn it a little bit more going back, then we'll be okay. Probably people are just watching me just going, who is this captain? And how is he so bad? And I don't blame them. So you can turn it a little bit and then go straight. We're going to scrape still. That's fine, don't worry about that. Icebergs, they don't do us any harm, right? Oh, Christ. 4%. If we go any more than this, I'm pretty sure if we hit 5. Okay, the ice does not count. This is a good thing. There we go, we can now full speed ahead. See, completely flawless, no problem at all. The John T holds up um, pretty well. Yep, best captain ever. There we go. So, I mean, it takes quite a while, as you guys can see, and I, I still suck at the, uh, the old driving of these ships, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Right, let's get this one over to Dublin, which I haven't been to that port yet, so it'll be interesting to see. And actually, while we're on this screen, I don't know what happens. Oh, so if you click into it, you then get the contract. So, I guess the best thing is to try and get them all going on different things. Um, all the time. So, Saeed, we could go over there. That's 24,000. Yeah, it's got the ores and minerals over there, man. And also that. This seems like a lot more stuff, doesn't it? And that's that's a lot of money. Um, and fuel-wise, we're okay. So, let's accept those two and go over to Port Saeed, even though I'm sure I'm going to suck at it. Accept those two. Right, let's cast off the ship. The Burt Lunkard. We're going to go to Port Said, so let's get over there. So I'll just leave Felix though. This is where I think it will probably get quite tedious as a game. Um, so I might just be like, well, I might as well do it. Look at the Bird Lunkard. It is an amazing ship. Look at that. I'm happy with this ship. Um, right, so it's done the same thing as before where uh, it looks like we're going to have to, you know, turn around. Well, obviously we're going to have to turn around, but you know what I mean. So I think the best way is to turn it a little bit and set it on a, on a kind of course where you are just turning slightly. So there we go, get it to like there, then go straight, and then it will obviously break away from this. We're going to have to use this, this blue zone. Uh, there is no way to get around this. I don't know how I did it in two minutes before, to be fair. Uh, okay, there we go, get it to there. That is probably as max as I can go. Whoa. See how close that was. Don't want to scratch up my new ship. At least it's got a lifeboat on this one. I don't think, uh, <laughs> I don't think the John T does at all. Oh man! Right, here we go. Good. All right, turn, 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 turn. It might be that I reverse into this bit actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let's go full back, full speed. I don't think that's a good idea. But there we go. Get it back onto there. Full turn to the left. Look at this. This is pro now. Um, it's definitely not. It's really not. Alright, let's go the other way and full reverse. <laughs> I'm just, I am 100% sure this is not how they do it in real life. Um, I, I just cannot imagine this being the way that you do it. Um, I don't know if the speed is like affecting my turn circle. Uh, it'd be really good to know that. This is not good. Right, okay. Let's... Uh, Turn that all the way right. We're nearly there. Let's go into that red thing. I don't know what that means. There we go. Now we can go full forwards. Slight turn to the left. Not too much. Fantastic. There we go. We're out. Oh. Okay. Note to self. There is an island there. Oh, no. 20,000. Okay. That's not good. Uh... Your reputation has now sunk. You are an unknown. Ah, oh, man. 
That sucks. At least I can see my two ships going though. I just, I guess I have to remember like everything that's going on. Right, cool. Dublin. John T needs to needs to get in there. I guess the thing is to keep everything moving all the time. Um. But yeah, I I think I might just pay the price. I know that's going to affect my reputation, but I I guess. Will it be better if um, I do that than than crashing all the time? I would have thought so. I th would have thought that reputation, you know. I, I would have thought that crashing all the time would be bad. Um, right, so this one looks like it's all the way over here. So this looks crazy. Um, that's fine. We'll go this way, then we'll like turn around as much as we can. It's going to be really difficult, isn't it? It's going to be a really difficult turn. Right, it's all the way over there. Okay. So, what, who made these ports? I mean, look, why can't I just land up there, you know? Oh, it's down there. Whoa. Okay. So it's over there. Right. So we need to reverse that way as much as we can. Uh, I can't go any much more than that because if we hit the land before, I expect we'll hit the land now. Right. Let's turn, turn, turn. Yeah, why can't I just park up there? Why can't... You know, can't we have valet service? I know that's basically, you know, tug, tug people and stuff and the port authority or whatever they're called. What are the, what are the peoples that do it normally? we have got like an expert that uh, can just park gigantic ships. Uh, hats off to them. After having done this, hats off to them. I mean, this is not an easy job at all. So, right. Let's just get that in. There. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Right, so that was the John T. Good. So, let's see... Uh, Let's get some let's get some fuel. I'm just buying it no matter what, it doesn't really matter now. Uh, we've got a million, okay. That's not loads, but it's enough. Uh, Stockholm, that's got 17 days on it. Port Said, it's got two on there. Uh, Valencia, we could go to Rotterdam first, then Valencia, no, we don't want to do that. Said, mm, I don't really want to go to Said. I want to try and keep one in like this area and one like in this area. I don't know, I don't know if that's a smart thing or if actually the long the long haul stuff is the smarter out of the out of the lot, but um, yeah, hmm. So that's not great value for money, is it? Not at all. But actually, we could go to Rotterdam, and then we can't go anywhere. And that's because we need to go to Reykjavik, don't we? Is that is that right? Wait a minute. Contracts list. How do I remember what I've got on? Yeah, Reykjavik. Right, okay, so is there anything else for Reykjavik? No, of course not. Oh, look, it's down there. It's down the bottom. Right, okay, so if you're not an idiot, um, then it really <laughs> helps. Right, okay, so go to Reykjavik. Yep, that'll be good. Um, slow as we can, no problem at all. Right, let's try and get out of Dublin now, which I bet you was going to be as hard as we got in. And to be fair, we didn't wreck it, did we? Um, Oh, look at that. They've made it easy for us. They have made it so easy for us. Look at all the... Why are they all white crates? That's weird, isn't it? Really strange. There we go. Fantastic. That was a nice, nice and easy one, wasn't it? I reckon it must be due to the amount of contracts you've got or something. Or how overloaded you are. So if you're like, you've got loads of cargo, I reckon they, you must get plonked into a really difficult spot. It's got to be something like that, because uh, this is obviously like straight out, just drive straight out, um, which is just too easy. There we go. Fly off into the sunset. There we go, now we can see our two ships going off. How cool is that? That's fantastic. Right, so we've got uh, John T's ready to dock, so I'll... Oh, I could just do a tug assistance for 100,000. Guess you got to make sure that you make the money, don't you? And at the minute, I don't think we can. So Reykjavik, I have um, parked up here before. It's got some random ice on it. Uh, this time it's over there. That's fine. That's not a problem at all. That's a really easy spot. No problem at all. I like the big uh, billboard there. Nice big advertising billboard. So it's good. Some toxic chemicals, of course. I wonder what happens when we do get like the nuclear waste stuff. If that's like you know, really worth the money, like the investment in uh, in upgrading or stuff. Because I'm not totally sure yet if we should, like, upgrade these ships, so my smaller ones, um, 
Or if it's just, if it should just wait until we get the, the Panamax kind of size stuff. I mean, that's going to be the real key, isn't it? There we go. Perfect for that. Straight in. Um, cool. So that's all good. Right, let's... There's no more contracts. Uh, Rotterdam and Algiers. Okay. That's in... Tw I've got to do that in 25 days. Um, right. Or oh, Rotterdam. Uh, okay. Uh, how much is the fuel? So the fuel is... Uh, going to cost us 34,000. Okay, that's not too bad. So we're still making money. Right, well, let's go to Rotterdam with this guy. So we'll go to Rotterdam, no problem at all. Let's, uh, yeah, let's cast off to Rotterdam, no problem. Get on there. So we'll just kick ourselves out of Reykjavik. Oh, look at that as well. So I think I might be right. I might just be right. So we're just turning on a little bit now. Go full forwards, do a little bit of a turn. Keep that out there, do a little bit of a turn. Keep that straight. Oh, yep. There we go, right. Now, full reverse, I think. And right. Good. Right, rebalance it out. Go to the full left. Full speed now. We can get out of here. No problem at all. So we did it in one minute and eight before. Um, I wonder if we can do it in faster than that today. I think we might. Look at that. How, how fast was that? That was just straight in and out. No problem at all. Dagger shipping. Best shipping com company in the world. <laughs> at least it must be. Um, right, cool. So, yeah, we did that in... I think we're going to do it in just over a minute. Yeah, so that seems to be, like, the fastest we can do it in. That's cool. Right, we're going to go into Port Said now, over or down here. And this is where it's all a little bit dodgy. So, as soon as they go into there... Free deadline contracts delivered on time. Oh, okay, so we get something there. Oh, reputation improved through deadline contracts, boss. Delivering 10 deadline contracts on time should be a good start. Ah, okay. So that's what we should be focusing on then. Well, we'll park up at uh, Port Said. Yep. I know I, I like to say port, like park up, but uh, you know what I mean. It's fine. So this is where it's a real pain. This port is a real pain. Um because you've got all these big ships. This one is fine. Parking up is fine. Getting out is really difficult. Um, again, I don't know if that was actually because I picked up... I think I like, picked up some counterfeit goods or money or something. And look, it freaks out with the lighting stuff if I'm right behind it. Or if I'm looking over to the side or something. There's, there's some weird stuff going on. There we go. You can go straight in for this. But there are gigantic ships around this place. Like, truly gigantic ships. Right, that's... Slow down a little bit. <laughs> like gunning for it. Probably people like sat on the on the cranes just like, oh my god, he's gonna crash. Um, I don't blame him. Do not blame them whatsoever. Look at that though. Look at that. Look at how good that is. Wow. Let's go real nice and slow now, right down to one. I guess not. Look at that. Fantastic. Best thing ever. Right, so that was fuel consumption. That was quite a lot of fuel, but uh, yeah, that's good. Made a lot of money there. Right, um, we could do with probably ship status, get more fuel. Uh, that's fine, 144. Look, we've got 5 million again. So we're doing pretty good. Contracts list, let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got ore, uh, 10,000, 20,000. Counterfeit goods. See, this is, the, this is the thing that got me. So counterfeit goods, copy and paste, limited. Um, it goes quite bad. Questionable goods, the cartel sisters. Hmm. So, <laughs> as far as like, maybe not. I think what we'll do is, oh, okay, so or just by itself. Yeah, we'll do that, because we need to do those kind of contracts. So we'll get there in nine days, right now, if we go there. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get anywhere else, like Algiers or something like that. That's, that's 16 days, it's too, too tight, but we can do that one. So let's do that one. Let's accept that contract. That'll get us up a little bit more. Um, and yeah, let's cast off. Are we going to be able to do that? Nine days. Yeah, so that's very close, isn't it? It's kind of quite close. We'll use a little bit more, a little bit more fuel to get there. But if this is all part of the whole thing, I'll try, 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 try to get out of Port Said safely. I don't mean really try. Right, so just like last time, 
we're facing the wrong way. So I reckon, so last time I tried to go forwards a little bit and try and turn around here, and I got to like this area here. Uh, what I'm going to do this time is I'm just going to go full reverse. You know? Let's just fully reverse it out of here because it's not going to matter too much. At the minute, I think I'm pretty much flat with the dock, which is good. And this might be the this might be the smart way to do it, rather than trying to turn around front ways. And maybe this is the way I'm supposed to just do it in general. Oh my god, look at that! Look at that Panamax or something, or, or super heavy, or whatever it's called, the ultra super duper heavy, because of course they're all there. That is madness. Right, I think we just go straight back, because I think if I if I try and turn around to go then forwards, we're not going to do anything. It's not going to work, so we might as well just continue on at this speed. There you go, the Burt Lunkard is actually working. He's doing good. Good powerhouse as well, so we've got two, two ships now, which is quite fun, to be fair. But anyway, guys, I think what I'll do is I'll call it a day for there. I'll complete some more quests. Um, you know, the, the... Not really quests, are they? Uh, I'll complete some more contracts. And I'll give you guys a shout when I'm ready to buy another ship. Um, but as you can see, it it's quite an enjoyable game, but it is quite difficult. So I do think we'll probably end up setting the uh, setting the challenge of getting to Panamax or something like that. Uh, what have we actually got? So we've got post Panamax and new Panamax and uh, all that kind of stuff. But uh, we'll see how it is. So these are all feeders. So if we take off feeders, see those ultra. Ultra L U L Ultra Light carrier bit? No, it can't be that. I don't know what it is. But yep, I'll get onto that guys. I will earn some more money. Get us up in terms of our reputation by doing those contracts. That's the main thing. And we'll see how it goes. But um, yeah guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, a comment, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.